Lois Lane is standing in a bat cave and she's about to reveal Batman's identity. Batman was in fact Bruce Wayne, the enigmatic billionaire business titan, philanthropist, and socialite. As I stand here, I'm actually directly beneath his lifelong home, Gotham's historic, Wayne Manor. You see, in this world, Batman is dead because Joker managed to kill him. Mr. Pennyworth, you protected Bruce Wayne's secret identity for decades. In the wake of his death, why come forward with the truth now? Now that he's gone, I want people to know the truth. The world should know. The world should know what my son did. <laughs> then we see others talk about Batman. Bruce Wayne was the hero Gotham City always needed but never deserved. He told me once, long ago, that I'd never have to thank him for everything he did for Gotham City. Well, Bruce, I'm sorry, but on behalf of everyone you ever helped, everyone you ever saved, thank you. Bruce and I didn't always see eye to eye. We had our moments. But there isn't a person on this planet I respected more. Then Lois Lane announces that Batman's funeral is scheduled for Friday. And when Friday comes, we see a special guest. Dark Knight! What a load of pretentious crap! It'd be pathetic if it wasn't so funny! Joker is in the crowd. In the crowd of people dressed up as Batman. And he's about to realize one thing. Wanna hear a joke? Okay, so there's these two guys, both with serious emotional issues. They each start dressing up like freaks and break the law. One they call a psychopath and lock up in Arkham. The other they call a hero and name high schools after him. Do you get it? No, neither do I. But that's okay. Stick around. I got a better one and it's going to absolutely kill. Joker is about to kill everyone. As Batman, Bruce Wayne was my enemy. But after he put me in Arkham, his foundation funded the scientific research that saved the life of my beloved wife, Nora. If I'd known that they were one and the same, I never would have given him the cold shoulder. <laughs> oh, seriously, Freeze? Dad jokes? I'm the most sadistic comedian who ever lived, and even I wouldn't stoop that low. And that's when Joker starts to realize something. Why is everyone laughing? Their precious caped crusader is dead. Aren't they supposed to be sad? They're treating this like it's some kind of party. Has the world gone mad? You idiots. You're not supposed to laugh until I deliver the punchline. I've known many men in my life, but few I care to remember. Bruce Wayne was the embodiment of everything. Boring. What none of these morons understand is that without me, Batman would be nothing. They should all be thanking me. I created him, just like he created me. Maybe that's why Bruce was the only one who ever really got me. The only one who understood the joke I was trying to tell. But now that he's gone, where does that leave me? If you tell a joke, but there's no one there to laugh, is it still funny? Look at all their stupid smiling faces. Am I the only one here who's sad about this? Sad that the only enemy I ever respected, the only audience I ever cared about, has left the building? What have I done? And what the hell do I do now? Joker realizes he made a mistake, so he decides to make some changes. What's the point of being the clown prince of crime? If it's so easy, there's no fun in it. Who's supposed to challenge me? Maybe it's time for a fresh start, a career change. But what else is a fiendish, merciless, psychotic, cold-blooded maniac who only gets off on tormenting others supposed to do? Oh, I'm sorry this is the wrong form. You'll have to fill out another one and go back to the end of the line. Again. Have a nice day. <laughs>